I don't know if there's ever been a player in the NHL who is as universally loved around the league as Marc-Andre Fleury. Spending his first 13 NHL seasons with the Pittsburgh Penguins, helping them win three Stanley Cups and becoming the backbone of one of the most successful teams in the salary cap era, then moving on to be the face of the NHL's newest franchise at the time, the Vegas Golden Knights, helping lead them all the way to the Cup Final, and even winning his first ever Vezina as a 36-year-old during the 2020-21 season. And then, shockingly, the Knights organization would decide to trade Fleury, basically for a bag of pucks, choosing Robin Leonard as their number one goalie despite everything Flower did for the new franchise. This year, of course, he made the best of his time with the Chicago Blackhawks, putting up respectable numbers on one of the worst defensive teams in hockey, and then eventually getting traded to the Minnesota Wild, where he, along with Cam Talbot, will do everything they can to help the Wild take down one or more of the top teams in the West in an effort to bring Minnesota their first ever Stanley Cup. But, for as good as Marc-Andre Fleury is on the ice, that's only part of the reason why he's become a fan favorite in every city he plays in. The other being the fact that he is one of the most positive guys to be around, always having fun, smiling, pranking teammates and reminding everybody that hockey is just a game. And despite being one of the most competitive players in the league, he also doesn't take himself too seriously and is a constant reminder to other players and fans that the game is supposed to be fun and that everyone in the league is incredibly lucky to play a game at the highest level for a living. The Flower will go down as one of the greatest goalies in NHL history by the time he's done playing, but he's also widely known to be one of hockey's greatest personalities as well. After being the number one overall selection in the 2003 NHL entry draft, one that's considered to be one of the deepest classes in league history, Fleury was tabbed as the goalie of the future for the rebuilding Pittsburgh Penguins. His first two seasons were a bit rough, with the team still trying to build and get their top prospects into the lineup, but in the 2006-07 season, with Evgeny Malkin and Jordan Stahl joining Sidney Crosby on the big club, Fleury and the gang would make the playoffs, and they continued to do this each of the next 10 years and start a consecutive playoff streak that has continued to this day, currently at 15 seasons, and what is now the longest active streak of any NHL team. Flower helped Pittsburgh to its first cup since the early 90s in 2009, and racked up all 16 playoff wins. Matt Murray stole the show in 2016 after Fleury went down with an injury, but the Penguins wouldn't have even made the playoffs that year without Fleury's stellar regular season play, where he posted a 35-17-6 record, a 9-21 save percentage, and a 2.29 goals against average. And although Flowers' regular season numbers weren't as great the next season, the Penguins certainly would not have won back-to-back -back cups without his play in the playoffs, where he went 9-6 with a 9-24 save percentage and 2.56 goals against average, including his phenomenal performance in the second round versus Washington, leading the Penguins to a Game 7 victory and a flurry shutout on the road in that Game 7. Knowing he might end up going to Vegas in the expansion draft after the summer, Flower donned a mask in 2017 that celebrated and commemorated his time in Pittsburgh, that had pictures of some of his favorite teammates on it, as well as names of some other teammates on the back. One of the names on the back of the helmet was former Penn's defenseman Matt Niskanen, who also happened to be playing for the Caps in this series. And after Niskanen cross-checked Sidney Crosby in the head in Game 3, injuring the captain, Fleury was quick to tape over Niskanen's name, showing his loyalty to his teammate and adding to his legend in Pittsburgh. Fleury continued to show his loyalty to the team he spent most of his career with when his names kept coming up in trade rumors and when the Capitals were trying to trade for him this year. With Fleury having his no-trade clause and being able to control where he was traded to, the reports came out that he didn't really feel comfortable going to Washington, a team that he battled against so many times in the playoffs. And when he was asked about it recently in an interview with the TNT crew, he pretty much confirmed that the rumors were true, and that part of the reason why he nixed any trades to Washington was because of his loyalty to Pittsburgh. Upon his arrival in Vegas, he almost immediately became a fan favorite. He was the perfect face for that brand new team, and was one of the biggest parts of that misfit team that would break expansion records and ride their historic regular season to a Stanley Cup final. In his time with Vegas, the team seemingly got better and better each year, 
and had a really good chance to win a cup last season before being taken down by a Montreal Canadiens team that upset so many good teams on their run. And even though Fleury's time in Chicago was short and the team was a bit of a mess this year, the flower was again embraced by the fans and was one of the few bright spots on what has been a pretty dark year for the Blackhawks franchise on and off the ice. Minnesota fans enjoy Fleury because he is an absolute joy to watch every night and is the ultimate teammate. He could be exactly what the Wild need to stir up some internal competition with other goalie Camp Talbot and to add to that well-built roster up front that could end up becoming Stanley Cup contenders. Marc-Andre Fleury is truly one of a kind with how he approaches the game, chirping and pranking teammates, his positive mindset, and even thanking goalposts when opposing players rifle pucks off of them something that no other goalies really do on a regular basis. Being a Penguins fan myself, I have always loved Fleury as a player and person, and I wish him the best with the rest of his career. Hopefully he can keep playing for many more years. And being a UFA after the year, maybe he'll come back to Pittsburgh. Please let me know what you think about the flower, and let me know if you actually do not like him. I would love to hear why. Please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one.